Hello YouTube, Badass Battletech here, and today we're going to be starting a new series of uh, a series of videos, uh, How to Missile Mech. And today we're going to be uh, focusing on the light mechs, uh, talking about uh, LRMs, ATMs, SRMs, uh, NARCs, Streaks, uh, you name it. If it's a missile and, we're, and you want to use it, we're going to put it on here and uh, figure out what's the best kind of builds for this. Now, first off, uh, obviously I'm a, uh, an avid Lerm boater, so we're gonna start off with Lerms. Um, for, for Lerms, you wanna look for, mainly, mainly you wanna look for uh, uh, the Adder, the Cougar, and the Kit Fox. Um, these guys are basically, uh, r some of these right out of the box are already set up for this. Uh, the Adder is a really good Lerm boat, um, especially the Alpha, because uh, if you, I do believe it's got an eight point. Yeah. Oh, look, this thing's got a SRM two four six spread and LRM twenty spread, LRM ten uh, five ten fifteen twenty spread uh, bonus. In addition to the uh, eight piece bonus, uh, uh, missile cooldown. Laser range, torso yaw, or torso yaw angle, which is pretty nice. Um, but for this, uh, if you don't want to, you don't even have to adjust the adjust the the hard points because they're already perfect. So uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, uh, do some rebalancing um, on this thing. I personally prefer LRM 15s. Uh, two ER medium lasers. Uh, uh, ER mediums, and of course uh, this. Uh, of course the sidearm right here, the ERs. Uh, you could swap these out for something, whatever you want. Um, I, I, this is just a suggestion. Uh, let's see. Let's go for. Let's go grab that tag right here. Uh, blam. Um, and then let's uh, let's start uh, let's get that sensor the plan active probe right there just toss that in there now obviously you see that we have a ton and a half let's try to squeeze in an, an, an additional half ton into this uh, into this mech uh, let's see Hmm. There we go. And so now we have an additional two tons to play with. Or a total of two tons to play with after. Which, of course, you add into your ammo. And there you go. You have uh, 10 hundred, uh, or 1080 rounds before uh, quirking. Uh, and then after you have 72, 144. That's an additional 72. So, uh, 216, uh, 216 uh, additional missiles to add to uh, to this mech. So you're looking at about uh, 1,296 missiles uh, at your disposal. So that's that's actually very impressive. And then uh, you have this tag here uh, to help you keep your locks, a clan active probe to help uh, deal with the uh, Countering ECM. Um, although normally the clan act of although normally the normally it's supposed to say uh, counters ECM. That is something I'm gonna have to look into because uh, the B Galactic probe I know for a fact says it counters ECM or helps to counter ECM. So, there we go. We have uh, a nice adder build right there. Uh, feel free to uh, take, a, uh, take it out and give it a try. Uh, next, we want to take a look at the cougar uh, for learn for another as another learn boat. Uh, I personally, uh, currently right now, not all of the uh, cougars uh, have their. Uh, their omnipods available so uh, we're just gonna pick one of the ones that do 
that's the prime C D and uh, blood adder as of right now. So we're gonna, let's go take a look at the blood adder because uh, it's a hero mech. It's really cool and it's got a nice hard point placement. And automatically, uh, as you notice, they already came out with the uh, already comes with ATM nine dual ATM nines, which that is, on a light mech that's savage. Um, although four tons, uh, it, that's gonna that's gonna get eaten up quickly. Um, if you're gonna use uh, if you're gonna use uh, ballistics on this thing, uh, I personally would stay away from heavy from heavy machine guns. The 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 range is too close. Um, just too close quarters. And we're talking like an optimal range of 80 meters, and that's that's as a learn boat. That's just no. All right, so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna get the quirks or get the, not the quirks get the uh, get the torso pieces. Uh, we we obviously the ones the best ones to go for are just the prime just just cause and plus the prime has an, another AMS slot. So and, and for this build we're gonna uh, utilize both of those because this is a fire support mech. Your job is to assist uh, assist the your cronies up the, up front. Uh, if I can, of course, there'd be, I know there's a slot. Oh, wait, it's already in there. Duh. All right. So now we have 18 tons to play with, or not 18. We have 18. We're at 18 tons. Uh, that gives us about, do, do, do. Ah, uh, quite a bit, quite a bit to play with. Uh, so let's, we're slapping that narc. Uh, let's slap in an LRM-5, and let's slap in 215. Uh, yeah, 215s. You can go 220s if you want. Um, this is just a preference for me uh, to do, because the LRM-5s and LRM-15, the LRM-5 and the LRM-15s, they create this nice stagger that just seems to be very, very nice. Um, now let's of course move that in there. Uh, now optionally you can add in a, a uh, Beagle Active Probe. I would recommend it. Um, so uh, I would I would just go ahead and just stack that in there. And then we have all the rest of the tonnage of it that is available to us, uh, we want to put into uh, we want to put it into uh, uh, towards the LRMs. So blam, 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 and uh, blam. Actually, let's let's put that let's just just put that right there. Just for for aesthetics. Alrighty, so uh, this is what you would uh, what you would get with the blood adder uh, as a uh, as a learn boat. Just nice, well stacked uh, setup. Uh, you have dual AMS to support your cronies in the on the battlefield. Uh, then you have a narc. Uh, LRM 35 here, uh, which creates a nice, uh, with the LRM 5, you create this nice stagger. Um, and overall, uh, learn boats tend, uh, light learn boats tend to have uh, nice heat management. So, uh, you don't have to worry about putting double heat sink, putting any double heat sinks into your mech, uh, to begin with. I mean, hell, you have a 1.75 heat management right here, and that's impressive. I would. I, I personally really like this build, and in the future, I hope to. Uh, I hope to get the blood adder just just for the sake of uh, of getting this build. It's a really solid build. Um, the build that build uh, that build on the blood adder that I showed you um, was inspired by the next mech uh, I'm going to point out is the Kit Fox, because uh, if you take a look at the Kit Fox Delta. You notice any any particular uh, any you notice anything in particular? 
LRM15s, LRM5s, NARC. There's a reoccurring theme here where LR, where these these uh, particular this particular missile grouping is it just works. Um, this this is probably the best if you want to start off uh, learn boating in a light mech. Uh, this is probably the best one to go to, if not the best to go to. Uh, just simply because it just automatically right out the right out the gate comes with everything you need. You got your NARC, you got your LRMs, you got 900 missiles uh, between the between the the five of those, and uh, after that you get about 144, 146. Oh, uh, 200, uh, uh, 216 missiles to add, so. That's that's still really good. Um, not to mention that uh, it's it is a thirty ton mech, so it actually does fit a uh, a, a it's a nice comfortable uh, fit this anywhere kind of mech. So uh, let's see. That's pretty much all uh, all the uh, LRM mechs uh, you would want. Uh, to deal with it as far as uh, the uh, lights, uh, you, there are. I will mention uh, the the javelin uh, 10P and uh, the 10P, the uh, 11B. We'll just actually just let's just keep it at the 10P because that's the because the other ones they only have four missile hard points. Uh, you probably would be using this thing to splat with anyways, so. Uh, let's just uh, let's just leave it at that. Uh, the Jenner, uh, not the Jenner, the Jenner 2C. They do have uh, the the splat Jenner here, but you can optimize it for for lerms. Uh, though a lot of people would uh, would uh, think you're crazy, but it does work. Um, the Locus uh, 1M. Uh, right out the box is already a, a already a learn boat, and so for this thing, uh, you'd want to reduce the ton, it, reduce your engine, uh, reduce your engine side uh, size. Uh, give yourself a uh, ER small laser. Uh, bump up your bell fibrous and your uh, endo steel, um, and then uh, balance out your armor accordingly. And of course, uh, give yourself an, a big old XL engine. Uh, a light or an XL 45, uh, 145 is perfect. Uh, you don't, you pretty much won't need anything else. Uh, you will have a problem uh, as far as uh, uh, as armor, but you, uh, being a fire support mech, you really shouldn't uh, shouldn't be too uh, too worried about it. So, yeah. And then you have, oh, actually, you most likely will just be doing uh, something like this. And then uh, let's uh, ramp these up. Yep. There we go. That's that's basically where you want to be as far as uh as far as armor goes for for this thing. So that's essentially what you have. Um, I know that uh, you probably have seen this build. Uh, from a video on Snuggle Times, uh, one of Snuggle Times' videos, uh, the Cricket it is actually a very good, a very good mech. Um, the alternate Cricket would be the, would be his, uh, would be the, uh, which one is it? The 3S? Yeah, the 3S, where you would have four missile hard points, and so what you would do is you would play, replace those with uh, Rocket 20s. Uh, biggest engine possible, a 
ER medium laser, uh, double heat sinks, and just uh, basically you're you're a walking mouse a walking mouse trap for somebody. Just wait until you have somebody's back towards you, and then you just uh, rip them a new asshole. So yeah, um, as far as uh, stuff like ATMs, uh, the Cougar definitely the best one, the best to go with. Uh, is the best mech to go with because uh, some of them already come with ATMs right off the bat. I mean, this one's pretty well, uh, pretty nicely fitted. Uh, it's got heavy machine guns. So I would probably jump those down or maybe just toss those out altogether because uh, really they're just kind of just eating space. Um, again, you could probably ta uh, bring uh, pop this shoulder out here for the one uh, prime, or for the the, uh, the prime uh, Omnipod, just simply because uh, you, it has the uh, another AMS hardpoint, and then you have a missile hardpoint, so you could use that for your narc. Because um, ATMs are still missiles that require locks, and that just automatically gives you a, a bonus. Uh, to uh, to it so um, let's grab this uh, the only the only real problem I have with uh, with ATMs is that they're they're pretty heavy I can't even get at that other one that's that's so annoying uh, la, 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 la. Go back to the head. Just, just cause I, I can't, I couldn't get it out of there. So dual ATM nines is really just right off the bat, really good. Um, cause that's uh, up close, up close. That's uh, twenty. That's uh, I do believe that's uh, nine, eighteen, twenty-seven points of damage each. Uh, in close quarters, uh, before the 120, uh, uh, outside, or once you're outside of that, uh, 120 meter range where, uh, where anything within the 120 meter range you can't hit on them, uh, with the ATMs, uh, so, but you still have anywhere between 121 and 270 is where you're gonna get, a deal, uh, the most damage because that becomes 27 uh and uh 27 so uh for each for each of those so that's like that's 54 damage right there a 54 alpha on a blood adder that's ridiculous so with this uh let's toss in a yeah let's toss in a uh clan active probe um, of course, I don't have the uh, friggin' Omnipod in there. <laughs> Let's just grab just a random Omnipod. Um, let's toss in the Clan Active Probe, and then, or even the Light Probe if you want, if you're trying to save tonnage. And then let's go back and uh, add in four additional tons. Of ammo right there so essentially that's what you're gonna be getting uh, your arms are unlocked and stuff so you can actually move them around and track um, and you're gonna be typically close uh, close up, up close and personal and you have the uh, clan active probe in there so ECM is not gonna be as difficult to deal with so unless of course they got uh, unless of course they got stealth armor and stuff and then which you're completely boned but that's that's a, a very nice loadout right there. As far as other, as other mechs that uh, uh the again the adder would make a great ATM boat. Uh, the Kit Fox not so much the Kit Fox because it uh, tonnage is a little little tight at that point. Um, you probably would want to wait for the new loyalty variant before trying out uh, trying out with the ATMs. And even then, ATMs are pretty heavy, uh, so you're probably going to want to stick with the sixes 
on the uh, on the kit fox um, just to save tonnage and so that way you can put a little extra ammo in there um, ATMs are clan exclusive so you're really not going to do much of anything else uh, with them uh, for a yeah, for lights because uh, uh, they are again they are heavy and they uh, they are uh, they heat generate a lot of heat too so you're gonna be careful with them as well um, as far as, now let's go uh, move on to uh, SR, uh, to uh, MRMs because uh, that's we did the clan missile now let's do the IS missile so you don't want it on the on the commando because the, they're three ton the the tens are three tons each uh, maybe maybe the javelin um, could do a, a do an a, a six MRM tens and uh, or four MRM tens you know mm -hmm. just nice uh, instant burst of missiles uh, but the probably the best one to do MRMs on would probably be the uh, for the let's go with the Huggin because uh, if you combine uh, machine guns and MRMs you get the light machine guns on here let's get the light machine guns on here uh, let's get rid of the streak get rid of the SRM 6 come on come on thank you keep the uh, let's keep the jump jets and we're gonna just move the machine gun our ammo over actually no we're getting rid of these so because we're gonna uh, we're gonna favor uh, uh, light machine guns because their optimal range um, is better and although they do less damage you can engage sooner with them and that's uh, that's a good thing um, especially considering the type of weapon you are pairing them up with dual uh, MRM tens so and, and then also you have the fact that uh, light machine guns uh, they uh, they don't need a whole lot uh, you don't need to grab a whole lot of ammo for them Because uh, 5,000 rounds is already really good. Or no, not all 5,000. Uh, 2,500 is already really good uh, for them at this tonnage. So, but, uh, and then you would pop in your MRM. Now, of course, you can, if you want to, uh, you really, if you're really hungry for the ammo, uh, you can uh, toss out the, the jump jets. The jump jets are there for additional mobility, so... Um, so that's really ultimately your choice as to what you want to do with uh, with the tonnage that uh, is given to you. So this is personally, uh, so but generally it's the MRM tens light machine gun combination that is really that seems to be really nice on the uh, uh, the Huggin. Um, I wouldn't go as high go higher than tens. Because the the twenty is seven tons, and that you you could just do uh, just do the same thing with uh, with just two tens. So um, as far as MRMs, that's pretty much it, though. Although once we get the new uh, the new um, loyalty Irby, which comes with two missile hard points, it comes stock with an MRM thirty. Uh, although the the uh, standard sixty engine in there is. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a little, uh, little insane in the membrane um, to work with. If you're, if you're psycho, uh, go ahead and run it that way. But uh, uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> um, so probably, as far as that would go, uh, probably dual uh, MRM tens and a bunch of ER smalls. Uh, uh, would probably make for a really nice build there uh, no uh, no no on the LRMs please don't just just don't this is not a mech for it it's a brawler don't do it 
uh, for when you get the loyalty variant for this uh, during because uh, uh, of the time of the year. All right. Uh, now let's move on to SRMs. Obviously, uh, if you combine the the adder alpha and delta, you can do some really good uh, SRM uh, SRM shenanigans. Uh, for SRM six Artemis and your gold, uh, just uh, run up, splat them on the ass, and then uh, run away. Put a medium laser in there uh, to um, give you something to play with after. Uh, the Arctic Cheetah, for some reason, I've been seeing this come back where uh, what people would do is they would take the Arctic Cheetah, uh, they would pop in, uh, they would uh, pop in the shoulder, they take out the streak, first off, take out the streaks, uh, take out the small pulse laser. And what people have been doing, I've been seeing uh, SRM 6s. Uh, flamers that I had just took it out just so I could rearrange it and then they would pop out the shoulder and they would either let's see they would either uh, no, that's what I want I either would go for this setup where they would just uh, grab the grab that ECM right there and then they would give themselves like uh, some lasers, like uh, dual heavies. Like let's let's do dual heavies for shits and giggles, uh, shall we? Um, dual heavies or dual ERs or some small lasers. You would get a combination something similar to like this. Uh, I've been seeing it lately. It's weird. Uh, I don't know if you guys have, but uh, combining SRAMs with flamers. It's always a good combination, and then you have the uh, lasers and the shoulders uh, for uh, pinpoint damage. Um, probably mix those with some uh, mix those with uh, some ER smalls, or yeah, some ER smalls. Let's see, where are you? Yeah, ER smalls, ER mediums, or something, and. Uh, you combine those with the SRM sixes, and now look at this. You have uh, three and a half tons available to you for ammo. You really don't need that much ammo, but uh, let's 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 put an additional put a half ton in there, and then uh, for for shits and giggles, just because we can, let's put a. Hold on, what's the range on these on these? Uh, you know, a light active probe would be actually be pretty okay. Uh, now, of course, you would go for the light active probe if you want the uh, additional half ton of ammo, or you can go with the standard uh, standard uh, uh, clan active probe and go with the half ton, or you could just forgo the uh, clan active probe altogether. The flamers are give this a misreading. Uh, cause they, they, they don't do any damage. They just generate a lot of heat, but only when you, uh, break that threshold, cause there's that little bar that tells you, Hey, you're, uh, you're approaching a, a threshold, uh, before you start gaining heat exponentially. So I would recommend if you're going to get flamers, get the, get the burn, uh, get the, what is it called? Get the ventilation quirks, the, it would turn the firepower tree. Um, but yeah. This is just a build that I've seen. Um, so if you give it a try, uh, you'll probably uh, harass people really nicely in this thing. Um, do not lerm on the Arctic Cheetah. Please don't. It's not worth it. You will not do well. Uh, the Commando. Always, always a go-to for... Uh, for SRMs. If if you if you're not familiar with any of the SRM shenanigans, uh, that is the commando. I, I'm I, I'm just not going to even talk about them. They, they, this should already be a thing uh, for most people. Cougar, 
this is an obvious one because of all the max all the variants with missile hard points so a bunch of srm sixes uh or, or you can even go streaks if you're uh if you're if you want to be a light hunter uh, uh go for streaks if you want to open up people's backs uh or uh rip off body parts uh go for standard srms and you have the tonnage to do so so yeah javelin this is a this is one of the one of the kings of uh, srms uh you got four missile hard points here you got six missile hard points here you got uh let's see i do believe it's four missile hard points here and dual ams on this one so these these mechs here are typically the mechs you would go to for uh SRM, for srms um uh this one right here uh, yes, it's got two missile hard points. You can put two sixes in there and pair them up with lasers, and that's really that's actually a pretty good idea. Um, you can also pair those up with flamers as well. There's some lasers and flamers with uh, with SRMs, and there you go. You have basically your alt your your uh, IS version of the Arctic Cheetah build that I showed you. Uh, we got the Jenner, particularly the Oxide. This is a given. Because uh, no, because uh, if you take a look at this, put two LRM fives on this thing. You don't put LRM fives, uh, you, uh, any kind of LRMs on the uh, on the oxide. Th this is not a mech to do that in. You put your, you slap in an XL engine. You give yourself uh, a bunch of SRM fours, or or if you're feeling or feeling it, SRM sixes, a pair of SRM sixes and an, and a pair of SRM fours, and just go nuts. You, you'll be you'll be just fine oh and then crank up that engine too uh once you've added all the weapons and stuff the jenner 2c uh need i say uh, about the uh jenner 2c uh origins uh this is the champion variant uh this is pretty much what you're going to expect as far as a a, a proper loadout this thing is a, a very savage uh, people, uh, for a while, this thing was a bane of people's existence before the rescaling, and now it is, uh, it, now, it, now it is a, a blimp, a re or a really fat chicken. But, um, if you really, if you're, if you really like the Jenner 2C, it is a great, it is a, a nice, uh, a nice grab. I know I've had, uh, I have some, and I, uh, I play them very, uh, very much so. Uh, very very in my opinion uh, the origin pack was much worth the uh, the money and so this is a this comes in there along with two others uh, I do believe it's the two and the three uh, that you come with that it comes with I would definitely pick these up uh, if you can uh, it's for for uh, close quarter uh, harassers hit and run max and stuff the kit fox as soon as the as soon as the loyal again as soon as the loyalty variant comes in you will most likely see a lot of SRM or streak uh, kit foxes um, on the battlefield uh, this thing is a nice fire support mech and fire support uh, can also mean uh, high damage uh, output in a single burst uh, as long as you're assisting somebody in the fire in firepower or with or with the dealing with other mechs the locus uh srms uh you're gonna be the high the most you're gonna do is twos uh, srm twos and probably gonna end up doing them on the it's not isn't it's not the 3m is it uh, no it's not the 3m it's the 1v that's the no it's not god i hate myself <laughs> Uh, there we go. Yeah, it's a three S. I keep forgetting that's a three S. But yeah, this is probably you'd put four SRM twos on here. Screw the streaks. Uh, four SRM twos. Bump this engine up to the highest you can go. Uh, and and just uh. Obviously, double heat sinks. 
Ugh. I don't know why it's lagging. It's weird. Alright, we got endo steel. We got the medium laser in there. Alright, let's uh, let's grab those twos. Each one of these is regular SRM twos. Uh, these recycle really fast. They uh, hit really hard. And they only weigh about a ton. So you're you're pretty much you're pretty set um going with the xl 180 because it's the fastest uh so you're looking at bam three double heat sinks and then you would uh just fill in the rest with uh srm ammo you only really need three because uh twos will you, you will go through twos real quickly uh let's drop the S the laser and let's drop the cockpit down let's bolster the rest of the mech up oh yeah this is uh this is what you would what you want now if uh if you can now if you are um if you are sore uh, and you really want like a, a, a sidearm, uh, ER small laser, and just uh, at the cost of half a ton of ammo, which is still fine considering that for SRM twos, you're you're not going to chew through uh, 250 plus rounds plus the uh, plus the uh, added quirk uh, uh, rack uh, the added rack ammo uh, from the quirk uh, from the quirk tree. So, yeah, you're you're gonna have a fun time with this with this guy. He he's a brute. Uh, missilings does have missile hard points. Just it's not a good idea to do it. Um, it's really good for narcs though. So if you're gonna use missiles on this thing, narcs are, uh, a narc is the best way to go, and just supplement it with lasers. Uh, a really because of the new and because of the new uh, miss links uh, we have laser shoulder so what we would want to do is uh, <sighs> which one is it yeah it's uh, it's this one let's take this one I know it doesn't have any quirks uh, for missiles but uh, we don't need to worry about that it's an omni mech why bother worrying about that? Uh, let's uh, grab the appropriate two Omnipods. We need the Golf Right Torso. We need the... Uh, let's see. Which one? And not the, why, why am I in the torso? Uh, no, we don't need the... It's this one. The uh, Bravo Right Arm. That's the one we want. And so we uh, toss in a NARC. Uh, and we do two ER medium lasers. In the shoulder. One in the arm. And then we do uh, one and a half tons of uh, SRM ammo. Um, obviously you can uh, bring these down to uh, uh, ER smalls or small pulses, whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat, um, or even, uh, uh, forgo the singular ER medium laser in the arm for a tag. Uh, and then of course, and of course, uh, NARC and, uh, S and R NARC and tag, they actually stack. And so you'll be, uh, grinding C bills if you're not, even if you're not doing all the damage. So this thing is a little bastard, um, as a NARC mech. So, uh, just keep that in mind when you're looking to look into uh, spot for some uh, for some missile boats um, but uh, but as far as SRMs and stuff this is not a mech to do that in it, it, it does not it, it doesn't come with enough missile hard points let's see does the panther is the panther any good I've never really seen this thing uh, do any kind of uh, SRM shenanigans two missile hard points uh, let's see. 
I'm assuming this this mech is more the the Panther is more suited for pop tarting because um, this thing is always um, you, almost everywhere you go you always see it with a ERPPC or two, and you're just seeing them just jump up, pop you in the face, and then uh, jump back down and relocate. Uh, SRMs as far as SRMs the alternate build for the Huggin uh, is. Uh, SRM is two dual SRM sixes, dual machine gun, dual standard machine guns, and your you know your uh, whatever remaining space is uh, ammo for the, both weapons. Um, nice uh, crit brawler. Uh, the three L is another good one because it has two missile hard points, um, and it's got all those missile core, uh, missile cooldowns, so you can actually use those to your advantage. Uh, these, uh, the 2X and the, uh, 4X, these are not, uh, not your go-to, uh, because they only have one missile hard point, and, uh, really, you're probably gonna never use that hard point, um, anyways, so, not the spider, no, spider, no, Urban Mac, uh, once the new, once the new, um, loyalty variant comes out uh, this I can definitely see this with SRMs uh, on it uh, very very good uh, platform for that indeed um, last but not least narcs uh, I've pointed out that the Raven and the the Raven and the mislinks make good narc mechs uh, they got uh, the Ravens got the Raven 3l has got quirks for uh, narcs quirks for days uh, for the narc, uh, then you have the mislinks because of that one build I showed you. Um, the kit fox, if you're good with your shot, is also a good one, especially the uh, the delta, considering that it automatically comes with the narc right off the bat, right off the bat, and uh, that just supplements your own fighting style. So kudos. Um, but then we also got the uh, got the commando. Uh, in, when built properly, this thing, the Commando is one hell of a narc mech. Uh, you want the one that you'd want for for the narking, for the narketing. Uh, uh, you want the uh, the two D, and you, you're probably gonna want to forgo the. Uh, you're probably gonna want to forgo any of the other hard points. Um, because the whole point of the, of the build is to, uh, come on. You're probably going to want to forgo all of the, uh, other hard points. Just if you're, if your whole purpose is to, uh, have, there's stealth armor. You don't even need, you don't even need uh, double heat sinks because, even with a laser, you're at uh, two. Let's go with ERs. Yeah, see, two over two. So, toss in that narc on the other side. Um, you need ECM equipped, so let's go grab that ECM. Come on. 1.5. So now you have about uh, two and a half tons of narc ammo um available and trust me this build is as dumb as this sounds as this build sounds it is actually very effective uh, I definitely recommend it to those who are uh, narc savvy because um, uh, I have a friend who who uses uh, uses the bill this build and it's tried and true he gets he he actually manages to uh, bog uh, uh, to bog my ass down with it by because uh, he put, uh, puts up way too many narcs. So he in a short in a short moment uh, he can cause enormous uh, cause a ridiculous amount of confusion uh, amongst the enemy uh, narc several mechs at, at a time and uh, slip away with his stealth armor. While everybody on the opponent's team is dying from lerm from lerm damage, 
very a very good snitch uh, of a mech, if you would. It's a very good, uh, very good snitch. Actually, that would be a cool name for that. Let's ca let's call that the snitch. There we go. Um, that's pretty much it as far as uh, uh, what kind of loadouts, uh, what kind of mechs are are would you do for would you use as far as light mechs for uh, any for every and any kind of uh, uh, LRMs AT or missiles, LRMs, ATMs, SRMs, uh, MRMs, uh, streaks. Uh, streaks, as far as streaks go, um, that's actually one thing I forgot, I basically haven't talked about. Uh, as far as streaks, uh, the Adder, the Cooter, uh, the Cooter, uh, Cooter, the Adder, the Cougar, the Jenner 2C, I guess, the Jenner 2C, uh, and the, uh, Kit Fox are pretty much up for it, uh, I personally don't care for for streaks because they're more of a uh, they're more of a weapon that you use to uh, to either uh, kill lights with or uh, use them to uh, uh, counter lights on on certain assault mechs. So if you if you want a light killer, uh, streaks they they weigh a little extra. So you know, be careful when you use them uh, when considering using them, because uh, for light max tonnage, it is a very scarce uh, resource. So yeah, well, that's it for today. Uh, I hope to uh, hope to hear from you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, uh, have any questions, I'll get back to you uh, in the chat, or you can PM me. Uh, badass Battletech out.